Hey guys, um, this is going to get added on to this video, so it should run fluid. This is an update um, for having my LG V10 for almost a week now. I think I got it last Tuesday. Well, yeah, it's probably, it's been a week. Okay, so my thing is, I find myself still using my LG G2. This is my LG G2. I'm using the Kindle to record these. All right. That's the LG G2. This is the LG V10. Okay. Um, there's not too much of a difference except for this is a big phone. That's, I mean, it's bigger than the LG G2. I mean, I find myself actually, and it's crazy, I'm still using this more so my LG G2 versus this phone because it is so big. And because I do have a four-year-old that every time he sees it, he wants it. So, it's a great phone. Just like my LG G2, it was a great phone as well. So, I just, the only thing that I find um, better is the apps are, are a little better. Uh, they work a little better on there and they give you more options on certain apps. And I thought that was weird. I'm like, why are the apps acting different on each phone but they do they give you more options on this phone because it's updated and um i guess with the uh, marshmallow update or whatever they call it <laughs> and i think i had the lollipop on here so yeah that's probably why the apps act better i'm sure and the only thing that i really like about this phone well i guess it's two things the camera is good although i haven't used it yet but the um the one thing that I do, oh, Facebook X the same, um, Instagram X the same, looks the same. I mean, it's no different. I go there and let you see. It looks the same. <laughs> love TT. Love J Oh, who don't love Justin? If you're not following Justin, you really should. He's so funny. I love him. Okay. So, Latoya, if you're not following her on YouTube, you're crazy. And you are lost. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Instagram is the same as on my thing. Hold on, let me go back so you can see what I'm saying. Yeah, they act the same. They all got the stories at the top. Both of them show. TT. See, they both look the same to me. So it's no really no difference. Right. See now this added up some send to friends or whatever, but I don't think this one's gonna do it. So they both look the same to me. It's just a smaller screen. That's it. And the screen, I mean the um what they call it? The megapixels and all of that. It's it's a it's a very good looking screen and everything. But like I said, I still like using this one more so. I think it's because, you know, I've had it so long and I'm used to it. And I have to get used to this phone. Yep. Yeah. Alright, it's so another thing that I wanted to show was um my favorite thing of this phone <laughs> that this phone didn't have. Let me not show you my which comes so hold on just a second all right see i'm not sure i have never tried to update it but my favorite thing for finding out on this phone was that i can speak my memos see the little microphone right there <laughs> i love that so i am making a video for my review on the new lg v10 phone phone <laughs> period yep i love it it's a great phone it really is let's see if it'll pick it up i love it it's a great phone oh i guess i gotta hit the speaker button sorry <laughs> i love it it's a great phone and it picks up real quick, if, even if I talk fast. It's, see? <laughs> yeah. I love that. I mean, it's great. 
I don't have to write anymore. So <laughs> with my vlogging, I'll just speak it. Lazy much? Yes. All right. So this one don't have it. I don't know if it, you know, if I could probably get that capability on here. Maybe somebody can tell me how, and I will try to do it. But that's the only thing that I really, really love. I haven't used the camera yet, and I'm sure I love it. But that's the only real thing that I really love about this phone. Other than that, I mean, it's a nice phone. It, you know, if you like big, big phones and everything. And I watch a lot of YouTube. But I still find myself going to my YouTube videos on here. Watching them on my G2. So if you're, you know, not scheduled for an upgrade. And you do have an LG product. And you're used to it. You're used to LG products. Then no really no use to switching and upgrading to it if it's still going to do the same things. You know, I mean, that's just my opinion. And like I said, I don't use this phone. I don't use it. I usually hide it because I do have a four-year-old. So I usually hide this phone in the cat kitchen cabinet or something like that up high so he can't get to it. So I really don't have it out much. And plus, I'm still waiting on my um, my uh, protective skin and everything and my my uh, the glass to put on the front. I'm waiting on all of that. So I'm, maybe it's because I'm a little cautious uh, with this phone because it's so big and it's so expensive. So maybe that's why I'm not using it as much. But I do love up here, you know, you can see your, but I find myself not even using that. You know, I, I don't use this stuff up here. I love that. I love that my, my name is in cursive. I love that. But I don't really use this. No, it's cute. But uh, okay, let's see when the screen's off. Let me tap it off. I, you can see what's what has come in. You know your messages and all of that. But that's about it. I mean, <laughs> and you can scroll up top and everything like that, and you can access your camera quickly and everything. But Hmm, I don't know. And by the way, if you like this, um, this wallpaper here I put on my front. I did that from Google. I just looked up um, neon wallpapers for cell phones. And this one, I do like it. It's cute. And I got a few more that I did myself. So that can save you money on trying to get wallpapers. And it can save you the frustration of going to the Google Play Store and trying to get uh, wallpapers and stuff. Just... Hold on just a second. Wallpapers for cell phones neon. Okay, cell phones neon. Okay, see? And you got all kind of wallpapers. All kind of wallpapers for your phone. Alright. So, say you want this one. You just click on it. And our feature on our phone, you hold it up. Sorry, you would go to this and you hit view original image. And then you hold it and you save image to your phone. Let's go down. Now go to your settings. Go to display. Go to like home screen or lock screen. You go to home screen and you go to your wallpaper. And then you go to photos, I think it is. Nope, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Wallpaper, and then you go to gallery, and then you go to this. And there's your thing right there. And you can move this over. I think you will want all of your aid to show. You don't really give you the option to expand too much. So you click OK. Yes. All right. And there it is. Sometimes they're a little blurred. I guess, but if you get a good quality one, you won't have to worry about it if I'm going to change the back. But anyway, so I just taught you somehow how to change your wallpapers for the free. And you don't have to uh, pay for it or go through the Google um, add-ons or whatever it's called. Because it's too much. Um, they want you to buy stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So um, that's how you do that. But I'm going to say 
I really don't use this phone that much. It's on the charger now. It will, I mean, the battery sucks. It sucks. That's probably why I don't use it. Uh, another reason why I don't really use it. Let me get my, my thing back. <laughs> home screen, wallpaper. Wrong one. I don't know why I keep forgetting it. But um, that could be the reason why I don't use it. You know? So, yeah, we're Yeah. So the bat the battery is is real sucky. But this charger that they sent with it is quick charger. It charges up my LG G2 in no time. I mean, 30 minutes. If I put it on there, it's it's charged up to 100%. And the LG G2 has, and we thought it had a sucky battery life, but it's way better than the LG V10. So if you're that kind of person who has to be on your phone a lot, if you're the kind of person who travels a lot and always in the airport and everything and you can't get always get to a charger the best out is to uh buy an extra battery for it i mean really you have to have an extra battery if you're if it's this is your only device that you're you do most of your work on and you're on the go all the time buy an extra battery because this one right here is not for the person on the go who uh, always has to use their phone for something because I took this off the charger hold on I had this off the charger last night but I didn't use it at all this morning I used it to make calls and to you know play a few videos and it's 12 o'clock now I didn't start using this phone it was at 80% when I got it out um, from the bed and I started using it make a couple phone calls I was on the phone with my husband for an hour and we use our Bluetooth so this one was really on and I used it to look up a few things and it drained all the way down to like 27%. So real quick, did it real quick. So yeah, I mean, I still find myself almost making calls on this phone. <laughs> I can't anymore, but uh, yeah, I still use this one. So, I mean, if you're not really scheduled to upgrade, I say leave it there. Where is it? My husband is enjoying it because he broke his phone. So he broke his phone. So he he you know can't really compare like that. He says he likes it because it's bigger and everything. It is. It's a nice phone. No doubt. Now if you're a person who has never had a LG product and you've been with Samsung for a long time, this will probably be something new for you. So yeah, I, I recommend that you try LG. To see if you like their products. Well, I have only had LG, really, so I have no idea. You know, I just <laughs> they they both the same to me. So, um, there's what my update is. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'm using the Kindle, and it's really really heavy. And so every time I keep adjusting that, well, my finger in the in the lens. So this is my son's. So it's not great quality on here. He has the Kindle. Don't ask me what kind of Kindle he has. I forget which one it is, but it's the one that's fifty dollars. <laughs> that's the one he has, and this is the camera. So, yeah, I just wanted to put those side by side so you can see. And I still love this phone. I mean, I have my case sitting over there ready for it to go. But, yep, that's it. <laughs> This phone, I mean, it fits in the pocket well and jean pockets and everything like that. So my husband, he still puts it in his pocket. And it's kind of hard for it to pop out of the pocket because of this rubber backing. It's kind of, you know, kind of slick proof and everything. So, yeah. It's a good phone and it's supposed to be impact proof and everything like that. But as you see, the, the bezels on the side are steel. But I don't think it will still protect this uh, screen very nice phone very thin phone versus this one so let's see yeah they're both really nice phones i love this one back of the lg g2 up and down volume buttons power button cameras this feels good in the hand but it's slippery 
very slippery, very slippery. So, yep. I still love my phone. <laughs> okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know why it keeps going out fast every time. Yeah. Okay. It goes out quicker than this one. And yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It'll do. It'll do for now. You know. Yeah. I don't I don't see myself buying another phone anytime soon unless this one breaks because if this one breaks i'm going right back to this one so <laughs> yeah you guys have a great day hope you all enjoyed it if you have any questions about the lg v10 just uh send me a message below leave it below and uh please like subscribe for more videos thanks guys this